Okay, after a three blot marathon on this Matsyam Kippur, we're ready to learn the Mishni Yaimis in uh, the hard parak of Ezel Neshech, uh, as we are sponsored by the Fisher family. Lila Nishmas Basi Basrabit, Shlem Ben Avram Alevi, Peril Bas Ruvain. We also are sponsored by the Nishmas Dov Ben Chaim, the Schus Eliyom Mesh Ben Chayesar, for the Schus of Avram and Yom Ben Shbamak Yudas, for by Yom Klugman and family for the Panos Gzunt and Nachas, and the Rufu Shalema for Meir Ben Chayesar. So now Mishnah Tess tells us, Lo Yomer Adam the Chaveray, I can't tell Shelley. Halveni kurchitim, give me a loan of a kur of wheat, vani etem lechok legoyin, and I'll give it back to you uh, when uh, the threshing season comes. I can't do that because maybe when the threshing season comes, the price of the wheat will be inflated, and uh, he's getting extra because he advanced me the wheat, and that would be ribbis. But I can't tell him, Shelly's son is Eli. Give me a loan, until Eli brings, he could, he could tell me, give me a loan, my son has a cur of wheat, when he delivers it to me, I'll give it back. Because since he already has wheat, although it's not in his house, it's by Eli, so it's considered as if that wheat is already mine. <coughs> So that when he gives it to me, it inflated in my rishus. He says, Rabbi Weiss, I have wheat. I just can't find the key to my silo. When I get my silo open, I'll give it back. That he could do, because then it's considered that it's already mine in the silo. So when he gives it back, even if it's an inflated price, it inflated by me. The Hillel Hillel prohibited. Hillel was so machmer on rivers. Uh, Mrs. Swade cannot borrow a, a challah from uh, Mrs. Block because we we're worried that when Mrs. Block, when, when, when Mrs. Swade returns it, it'll be worth more. Ad Ad Shitase Domin. Until uh, Mrs. Block says, okay, this challah is worth $10. Return me $10. That, he, that she could do. Shema Yokir Echitim, because if uh, Mrs. Swade returns a challah later, maybe it'll be worth more. Venim says, Boaz, Lede Ribas, and that will be interest. Mishnah Yud tells us, now here, you know, Shelly knows all about you scratch my back, I scratch yours. So I can tell Shelly, I'm your Adam Lechavera, Nakish Imi. Shelly, you should weed my field. Vanakish Imoch, and I'll weed your field, which is the same size. Or Adar Imi, hoe for me. Ve'edar Imoch, and I'll hoe for you, because since it's the same activity, it's the same value, and there's no ribus. But for Lo Yaimela, I can't tell him Nakish Imi. Weed for me, the Eder Imach, and I'll hoe for you, because maybe the hoeing is worth more than the weeding, and for waiting, it would be ribbis. Or Adori me, hoe for me, Vanake Shimach, I'll weed for you, because if it's different activities, we have to be afraid that it might be worth more and it'd be ribbis. Now, Kol Yemei Gorid Echad, all the days of the dry season, that's the summer, is the same regarding plowing. And kol yemei reviyah and all of the days of the rainy season is considered one. Therefore, lo yaima lo yicharosh imi bagorid. I can't tell Shelley, plow for me during the summer. Vanei erkharosh imcha baraviyah. And I'll plow for you during the rainy season. Because plowing during the rainy season, which is muddy, is a harder job. And therefore, Shelley's getting a better deal because he waited for it. Rabbi Gamliel, I mean, Rabbi Gamliel says this this uh, prefatory ribbis and subsequent ribbis. Rabbi Gamliel, I mean, yesh ribbis mukdemis. There's ribbis before the loan, v'yesh ribbis mukheres, and there's ribbis after the loan. So let's say I'm planning to borrow from Yisrael 
$100,000. So I show up at his door beforehand and I bring him a rack of lamb for sukkahs. <laughs> his mouth is watering. Rabbi Gamliel, I'm a yesh ribis mukdemis. There's pre ribis. Yesh ribis mukheris. There's post ribis. Kate said, Nasan ain't a little way, say man, if I'm planning to take a loan from Yisrael. For him a shaleach loy. I send him a rack of lamb. For I'm a bishvil shal talveni. And I say, You're getting this because I'm going to ask you for a loan. Zui ribis mukdemis. That's pre ribis. Lava hey man. If I take a loan of 100,000, the Hixalay is Moisev. And I return it to him. And then, I send him a rack of lamb. Because you had your money idle by me, I'm showing Akar Satayv. Zui ribis mucheris. That's post ribis. There's even verbal ribis. See, Rabbi Yisrael was looking to meet uh, Donald Trump because he wanted to buy a hotel. But he never knew when he would show up. So he, ju he just gave me a $100,000 loan, so I called him up with a tip that Donald Trump will be by the Rebbe's oil on Monday. And he, he, didn't, he didn't know that. Right? He, he, he only has a flip phone. He doesn't know these things. Right? So, Reb Shimon Aime Yesh Ribbis Devarim. There's even verbal ribbis. I can't tell him I can't tell him that uh, there's somebody by the name of Donald that showed up from Florida uh, on Monday in uh, Crown Heights. I can't tell him that because that would be Rivers Devarim. Okay, Rabbi, so I would say this is a very good start to Tough Shin Pei Hey, and uh, we hope to see everybody in Mirz Hashem tomorrow on Sunday night at 8 o'clock and have a good and quittal everyone.